You're looking at an electric fuel pump off an early 1970s Mercedes-Benz. This particular Bosch fuel pump was used on those early electronic dejectronic fuel injection systems like you see on my 300 SEL 4.5. They came on the early 450 SLs, 350 SLs. They were used on the early 70s Porsches and the Alfa Romeos. And there's probably a few others that use this style of electric fuel pump. It's very noticeable. It's smaller than the later ones. And you can see where the different connections are there. But I recently had a problem with the one on the 4.5. It just wouldn't run. And I've seen this so often with older fuel pumps where cars have sat for a long time. They won't run because they're all gummed up inside. So we took it apart and found out, yeah, it just needed to be cleaned up. But the problem was we didn't have the seals. There's a seal right here and a seal here. There's also a seal down in there, which is very difficult to get to. But uh, let me show you one of these pumps opened up and how the O-ring kit I supply could help you if you find yours is stuck or yours is leaking in this area right here. Now I know some may say, well, Kent, why are you messing around with this old pump or these old pumps? Why don't you just get a new pump for reliability? Well, the problem is they don't make these pumps anymore. It is true, you can cobble in one of the newer style pumps, but you've got to make different hose connections and you've got to make different bracket mounts. And some people want to keep their cars original. If it's not a daily driver, I don't feel that's a big thing. I want that 300 SEL 4.5 to have the original pump and the original mounts underneath the car. So if the pump won't run or if the pump is leaking in this area right here, I think my seal kit could help you. Now I've already had this pump apart, and I, but I put it back together so you can see how they come apart. There's four screws that hold this cover on. And most of the time when you remove the screws, the cover won't come off. It's stuck. The old O-rings are just stuck to the cover and the center section there. So usually it comes off like this. You wiggle a little bit and it'll break free and you're gonna have all these pins fall out. You're also gonna have an O-ring right here, which I removed. So you have this impeller here, and you have these five pins. And what happens is, all around this impeller area gets gummed up with old fuel that's dried out and varnished, and it just can't turn. There's not enough power in the motor. Now with three of these pumps I've had in my shop, I've been able to just open them up and clean them, good scotch bright pad, just polish all the junk off the impeller here and off these pins, and then you can put it back together. The problem is the O-rings. Now, there's two O-rings here, and a lot of times you can't get this cover off, you know, it's stuck to this spacer here. And if you've got some aluminum uh, protectors and a vise, you can just clamp this in lightly and tap on this, eventually you'll break it free. And here I can show you what happens to these o-rings look at that it becomes a square o-ring <laughs> with age and hardening and one of the problems today is a lot of the cars are being run with ethanol in the fuels and it's really hard on any old seal that still has any ability to seal at all so what i decided to go so what i decided to do is go out and source and even have made a special o-ring here it is and it's made out of Viton. And Viton will hold up much, much better to any alcohol or ethanol that is in the gasoline used in the car. And this seal, rubber O-ring, fits right in here like that. And they're both the same size. One fits there. Then you go ahead and put this on, put the impeller and the pins back in. Then you get the second O-ring and put on the cap and then just bolt everything together. Now I would recommend that you oil up the impeller and the pins. Don't put it together dry. You don't want any scoring when you start the car up. So just engine oil or transmission fluid, anything you might have to go ahead and lubricate that up. You can put a thin film of transmission fluid or engine oil on both O-rings as you bolt it together. And you may find that you can have a fuel pump that's going to run for a lot of miles to come. Now there is a problem, okay, that crops up on some of these pumps 
And that is it leaks right out of this area. Now, it's very difficult to get these pumps apart. Also, you know, the pump motor can burn up. But I'm not going to, at this time, go into trying to show you how to get these pumps apart. A lot of times you can't even get them back together and there's another O-ring in there that's leaking. So if that's the case, I mean, you can experiment with this on your own. But for this particular kit I offer, I'm just going to give you the two Viton O-rings, which will help you reseal your pump should you decide to take it apart and clean it. And hopefully this will get your old DJetronic car back on the road. Anymore now, this is what I see on these old cars. I see braided fuel hoses that are rotten. I see rubber fuel hoses that are hard and cracked. And you really need to get under the back of the car. You need to change the fuel hoses at the back end of the car. If these start leaking when you're driving, it's a real dangerous situation with a gas engine, a diesel, you're gonna quit out on the freeway. So word of the wise, you know, just like I had to do with beauty here, get back under that car and change all those rubber and flexible fuel hoses. <laughs>